What's up, everybody? I just got back from robbing Kroger, not Sears. Um, just picked up some groceries, and everybody, not everybody, I'm not that popular, but some people are asking me, dude, what are you eating, man? Like, you're, you're getting ready for a show. What, you know, are you just eating lots of brown rice and lots of tuna and, you know, just chicken and, and red meat or what? And no, my response to that is no, I'm not. Um, I eat foods I enjoy. I practice flexible dieting. Go ahead and Google that. If you look it up, look up Alan Aragon's article, um, The Dirt on Clean Eating. It's an excellent article. I'll put a link in the description. It'll pretty much tell you everything you need to know, and it'll actually change your life. I, I dieted the old school way for three years, and uh, it's been doing this for over a year now. I'm as lean as I've ever been. I'm stronger than I've ever been. And my physique has recomped um, almost drastically. So let's have a look at some of the groceries I picked up. Um, first things first, I'm really fortunate to be able to have these groceries. Um, just really fortunate and really thankful. So, starting out, I guess we'll start over here. And uh, these are my these are my diet sodas. Uh, diet A and W, diet do, because I like to do the do pretty often. I got a caffeine-free Coke Zero because these are these two liters here are pretty much for the days for my appetites um, higher than usual. I'll drink a whole one of these throughout the day. It's awesome. This also, the new extra. I don't know if it's new or not. I just saw this for the first time. Mint chocolate chip, sugar-free gum. This is heaven on earth. Um, this is my coffee. I usually go with a Colombian roast, but I'm trying something different. I got Francais. I think that's how you say that. Uh, got some egg beaters. Two gallons of skim miak. Some fiber one. This is my ish. I use that pretty much more than any other cereal in the world. Chocolate strawberry special K. Never tried this, but I picked up two just because it sounds amazing. Of course, I do have your chicken breasts. These are just boneless. Um, you know, skinless chicken breasts with some red meat. I usually get the frozen blueberries, but this time I went with the berry medley. It's got a little bit of blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Moving along, I got some bacon because I keep it America up in here. I make a pretty sweet ass uh, spinach, bacon, and cheese uh, orgy, I guess you could call it. And I'll have a video of that, actually. That's a really good meal. I'm going to show you guys how to make that later down the road. This is my big-ass thing of baby spinach. I add that to shakes because it's virtually tasteless. Or I'll just eat it. Like, I'll cook it down in, in volume because it loses a lot of volume when you cook it. I'll throw, like, nine ounces of that shit in a pan. And I'll just eat it with, like, a salad and some uh, low-calorie or, or calorie-free dressing. And these. Whoops. These. I've been eating pretty much on the reg. The pumpkin pie pop tarts. I'm probably gonna buy at least the shelf of these before they go out of season. And I got some some deli meat, some turkey, a little bit of ham. Thank you, ma'am. Just regular medium eggs, some nanners. I got some baby seeds up in her. I see these with like light ranch. I'm um, good for volume. You need a lot of them. Same as this. I eat these by the bag pretty much. Chopped romaine. Mm. I can make that taste really good. Um, these are my flat outs I use. Uh, to make little like meat wraps and salad wraps and stuff like that. That's mine. Sears. <laughs> and uh, these are just strawberries. I eat these with uh, some low calorie chocolate syrup. Uh, or Walden Farms if I'm buying it delicious. I can eat a whole thing of these and get hardly any uh, calories out of that. Um, these are my babies as well. These white cheddar rice cakes. Oh man, these are my favorite. I eat these uh, practically every day if I can. Sometimes I don't stay stocked up on them now. Uh, this is some fat-free mozzarella cheese. It's just uh, reduced fat mild cheddar. I can never find the fat-free cheddar anymore. If any of you guys know where I can find that shit, let me know because I'm I really miss it. Um, my fat macros are gonna start going down soon too, so I'll need it. The, these got I don't know freezer burn. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> this is a uh, Kroger's Greek frozen yogurt, honey vanilla. Actually tastes bomb as hell, but check out the macros on these. If you can even read it. I don't think you can. So uh, one half cup is no fat, 24 carbs, and 6 grams of protein. There's four servings in here. So you can eat this whole thing and get under 100 carbs. I've done it numerous times. I love it. Oh, this is one of the new flavors I, I just saw. I just picked it up to try it out. Moving along, I got my veggies. Um, you guys do look at flexible diet, and you'll see it. It's not about eating just, you know, um, goodies and sweets and shit. You do need to still get in your fruit and vegetable meals at least one to two a day. And you need to hit your fiber goals as well. I recommend anywhere from, as a general recommendation, I say 12 to 16 grams of fiber per thousand calories. Um, you know, for bodybuilders and depending on your sex, it could be different, give or take, but that's what I usually recommend. That's what I usually hit. This is just canned pumpkin. Um, I usually pick this up when it's in season because I, I add it to my shakes and like my protein sludge and it just gives it more volume. Plus you get a good dose of fiber in these as well, three grams per serving. Um, just another pack of that. Um, yeah, serious. Um, this is the Walden. Honor thy Walden. I don't buy this very often unless I'm starting to get a, you know, an appetite craving, which was today. Um, so I picked up a couple. I got the Honey Dijon, the Thousand Island, and the Strawberry Balsamic. These are all calorie free. They're expensive, but they are worth it, especially if you're in contest prep. So there you have it. That's my grocery haul. Um, this is 150 bucks, I think, at Kroger. Uh, I'm going to start shopping elsewhere, though. I'm going to start saving some money because contest prep gets a little bit expensive. So um, this is a pretty usual grocery haul I get. And uh, I'm going to start making some food. I'm going to start making some food now. You all have a nice day.